Hey folks, welcome back to a lovely warm Monday in Wallington, where I live, in Wallington, Surrey. <coughs> well, so it's in the, uh, within the uh, Magic Roundabout, aka the uh, <coughs> M25. Uh, yeah, lovely day. Uh, sorry about uh, all you watercolourists that uh, are waiting for me to do more watercolours. I'm really stuck on that. I did, I did one yesterday for paint, for paint, uh, no, uh, for you yesterday. Yes, I did. So, uh, but I'm still really going for these uh, acrylic texturing, semi abstract on the cartridge paper. This is, a, I think, I misled Mark. The these the paper is. 150 grams, 150 grams. So it's really heavy for, uh, but, but it's a sort of an all-purpose paper. The 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 half size one, the A4 book, is a bit lighter, about 140 grams. I'll show you. I've got one here. Oh, I did it. Ah, yeah, here we go. So here we are. See white sketchbook. This is the A4. Acid-free cartridge paper, uh, 140 grams, and there's 30 sheets in this one. I've started to do it, you've seen some of these, but I've started to add to it. I'm trying to get a collection of, of acrylic, acrylics, apart from hopefully being uh, viable, I can um, work from them in the months ahead. I haven't given up watercolours. I just, I just want to do this, and I know I've lost quite a few subscribers, but I hopefully gained some acrylic painters. And you can uh, oils and acrylic are very similar, um, other than the acrylic dries very quickly, and on a day like this, it's dry almost before you put it on the paper. Uh, but, but the beauty of it is you can carry on, you can work on it very quickly. That's the great thing, you can't do that so much with the oils. This you work thin and use a lot of dryer, but I, I do love oil painting. But uh, this is where I am now, so I have to make allowances for my old age and uh, my choices of material. The one I did yesterday, I did to a couple of the Brandenburg concertos not a good idea because you tend to you tend to paint in certain time of the music uh, right okay so enough for me we've got five colors today we've got cadmium yellow pale yellow ochre cadmium red ultramarine uh, uh, and burnt sienna five colors plus paints gray and white so it's basically five color painting but with these enhancers, the white, so of course you can't do that white. Uh, well, you can if you're doing pure abstracts, but uh, we're just making pretty, trying to make pretty pictures. So let's just start with uh, a bit of blue, a uh, bit of white. I just get a Just a bit of background. Now, whether I stick to that, I don't know. Then you can, you can, like oil, you can change your mind quite easily. Okay, so there's a start. I might even put a little uh, bit of wet ground in this. Got a cup of tea on a go. Uh, here we go. Here the older. Uh... Oh, I'm painting on the masking tape.
Right, okay, that'll do for that. Let's uh, go on to the one above. Uh, I'm only going to do landscapes with these. You can just about see see the blue in this, in the page grey. Okay, so we'll get down the bottom and do a bit of uh, a sky. Keep, I'll have a swig of the tea. Nothing worse than cold tea. I'll get in some uh, ochre. It's a bit bright, a nice wheat field. Mixing the cadmium yellow with the white, get a lovely, uh, lovely light colour. Look at that. Okay, so a nice bright through the centre there. All right, now let's get some uh, good uh, colour in that foreground. Lovely uh, green. You don't need, need ready-made greens. You can use Payne's grey with your yellows and come up with something so really nice. We hope. the tree there. I love that yellow. Bit of light in here. Oh. Bushes. No detail, just an illusion. Alright, we could put a little bit of a oh, don't want a line there. But um, I need a bit of a path through there. So we'll just have a bit of blue, a bit of red. 
<coughs> bit of ochre. That red is very, very strong. Right, we're going to highlight that a bit, I think. Right, let's uh, work out. Let's work something on the top. Well, uh, that's a bit off. Out, so let's I just knock it out and just put a bit of texture on. That. Right now we've got to get the sky and uh, what sort of sky? I like streaky skies, they're easy to do. Just a bit of paint grey in there. Just a bit of water just to lubricate the thing. I really enjoy taking the paper off, but I have to sort of mute the sound, or you to mute the sound, because it can tear the surface of the paper. So, uh, well, we have, we're not there yet. A bit of blue. Ooh, a bit of a lump. There's a bit of um, of a hole in the paper there where it's uh, buckled. Well, we can always put stuff back. Uh, right. Blue. Horizon. 
I'm going over the background. You can use um, paper toweling to, to, to blend, but uh, I prefer blending with brush. Grey, really. some light clouds in there now. Just trying to darken some of that cloud, <clears throat> which makes the painting a bit brighter. But I've got to put the white back on that for horizon. Just a touch of ochre in there. Flatten down with a bit of weight on that. Oh, just a bit of paint grey, just helps. Would help if the paper was flat, but I'm going to leave that. Um, I haven't finished down here yet. A bit of more light in here. Oh, 
just texture, no detail, just, just create the impression of detail with all this lovely, lovely paint. I'll go over that with a bit of uh, with a bit of yellow ochre and white, but let's get something in here. Um, I'll get a sky. Oh, you could do mono monochrome with this. Or, Couple of I've just had a bit of a another colour. Oh, I'll just put that in there, that's why I finish my tea. Sort of a simple grey, just add. Uh, right, back to that sky. A uh, bit of white, bit of ochre. The brush doesn't so hold. Very much paint now. Just drag over the dry. Oh, this. Just pile it on. Just get it paint, paint down. Hopefully, we can text to that later. Well, we've got a sort of a horizon. <coughs> it's it's good fun doing two two for one. I know it gives me an extra painting to twice as many paintings. These are about nine by seven inches.
Probably buy that up, haven't I? Uh, Alright, let's take that out. Let's go back with a nice light. Yeah, we'll put some light here. In the brush. We'll dry the brush. Let that uh, flatten down. You can disturb the surface of this. Uh, paper if you're not careful. Alright, go back and reinstate the foreground. Right, I don't think I want to do much more to that one. We've got the, all the texturing. Get on to the top one now, uh, just to put a nice plane across there. God, shut the door. The window. That's Patsy. She barks a lot. We've got a couple of dogs over the back of my garden, so they talk to each other. I don't know about you folks, but so I'm cooking against the outside because I'm retired from proper work. I can spend so much time doing this. I do cut the grass, but my wife does a digging. You 
some of that red Bivoka Let's see what we can get here Oh, I don't like I've, I've got to change this uh, this uh, horrible cadmium red it's it's too strong and I want it brighter and it's too sort of pinky I, I really don't don't like it but I bought a load from uh, Wilco's some years ago and then they stopped doing it and so I went back to oil painting Look how quickly you can texture with a, a rough old brush. Ah, do that sky. We need to open up some of that horizon. I'll clean the brush. And just put a little bit of uh, texture or dragging over over this. Let that dry off a little bit. Uh, I'll go back on the bottom one. Just slight, just a slight ochre colour in this, uh, just a tint of, a hint of uh, ochre. cloudy sky we haven't got a cloudy sky now so we've got a very bright day not a cloud but light light clouds scudding across still can't get that that bit out there Let's go and lighten and all that up. Put that green. A weekly bike ride tomorrow if it's not raining. Which is uh, lovely to do go through several parks
So I'm really sort of painting the views, or the abstracted views of Morden Hall Park, which is very, very lovely. Credit to the National Trust. Well, there's a bit of a... Uh, uh, Get off. Oh, that's a good idea. I won't scrape there. a bit of that red with a bit of the blue and a bit of the white. Look how strong that is. It just kills everything. Nice bit of bit of lilac in the fields of bright now. Might put a few figures in there, but well, a figure or two. I'll just tone it down a bit by just dragging some of that grey colour over it. years ago, three, four years ago, who died, sadly, before his time. <clears throat> but his hobby was uh, making lead soldiers and painting them. And they were very beautiful. Um, I mean, you wouldn't think so, but the people that do really do enjoy that sort of thing. That hobby, very skillful. <coughs> and when he died, I picked up a lot of well, I picked up packets of these brushes, look. So oh, they're very fine. Number two, I don't know who makes them. But they're very tiny. He used them for his painting of the soldiers. It's very delicate. So I'm going to use it for a bit of... Uh, a bit of a paper person. Uh, Got a bit of white in there. Well, right, they're all nice and laid back in the, in the background. Some people like figures in, in these sort of landscapes, but that's a... That doesn't really show against the... it doesn't count as change, does it? So we'll have a bit of a red, we'll have a red figure. Black, just got our jeans. A 
Now, if you put more figures in, that would be the uh, your eye line across there. So all the feet go up, but the heads all stay on the same same uh, Oh, let's have to show you. Well, we just I'll put a bit of white on there. Not that big. Ooh. On this sunny day, but we could put a. Oh, I don't know, red. It's got to be red, isn't it? Oh well we're bung them in. But they're a bit too crystal clear compared to the background, aren't they? But I'll just wait for that I'll just wait for that to dry. Um and uh, a bit more texture on here. Oops. I've got a couple of clips holding that to my holding the paper, the book to the uh, table. Uh, right, let's, let's go back and do that. Uh, I'll carry on with the same brush. There it is.
Uh, right, so I'm just I'm going to try and drag over those figures just to tone them down a bit. So we've got a bit of that yellow. So let's try. Right, that's a bit better. Oh, I haven't done my tea. Oh. Oh. Oh, look, that's a. Uh, I put a bit of white out. That that is still a different colour. I didn't say these things were easy. I was thinking of um, when I first started getting interested in painting. It was a quite long process, actually. A bit here and there. Then I started spending money on it. But I think, oh, you might disagree, but <clears throat> but uh, a self-taught artist has a bad teacher. Now you might not agree, but it was a long slog for me. I didn't have any interest in going to art school. I just got the books. And some of them then, back then, were black and white, which didn't really help. But uh, bit by bit, by joining a, a good art club and then discovering Ron Ransom. Uh, that's a bit better. Uh, let's just give it a cut. Ooh, don't crumbs. Ooh. I'm going to add a bit of colour, not quite like that. It took me years, I'm still learning. I, comes and I don't uh, profess to be a great artist or anything. I just share what I learnt with you, which I learnt the hard way. You can learn the easy way by, by doing what I'm doing. Oh, uh, this brush is picking up. Uh, Now these uh, are abstracts, but I, I got onto these abstracts, or semi-abstracts, for watching a painter called, the Danish painter, Marie-Louise. Marie I, I just love what she was doing. I don't copy her, that wouldn't be right. But, uh, and she doesn't sort of paint a lot or publish a lot on YouTube, but I must say I've got over three and a half thousand videos to share my work around. Just add a little bit in the sort of cloud, thinner cloud, 
and a little bit of light showing through. Right, well, I think I've done enough on that. So now, what I'm going to do now <clears throat> is take the paper off, so the tape off, and <clears throat> I think I'll. Uh, how long have we gone? Well, it's got to be edited anyway, so I'll, I'll stop it there. Or you can mute your sound. Because I'm going to uh, tape, take the tape off, and that might be a good way of doing it. Uh, I'll be vertical. I've, That came off the right. You can you can see uh, where the paper has it's always still attached to the uh, tape. But if you if you lift it up high, look, it, you, you're not damaging a, a, a huge area of the surface. You can. Uh, Use a hairdryer just to soften it in front of where you're lifting it. Look, see that's tearing there. Now that's going to annoy me. That's quite a bad tear. My other stun man. But it doesn't matter because these will be varnished and. Once it, once it gets, well, it gets a little bit of a 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 but if they're mounted, if, if these are ever see, see the light of day, well, I'm going to do the tape, heat the tape, so take, mount, mute your sound. You can see the tear here. I could uh, painting's easy. Taking that tape off isn't. Well, no, painting isn't easy, is it? You're never finished, and you'll never be satisfied with anything you do. Folks, so we've got two paintings eventually. They're, they're pop borders, I, they're just for variations on a theme. But I, I, I do like doing them. But with with the, uh, the book building up with about 60 paintings in here, must be, I've only got a few pages left, but a lot of the pages have got two, uh, two uh, paintings. Um, so I reckon there's about 60 paintings there, plus the few that I've got in the, in the A4 book, but that, look at that. Uh, anybody know of a, of a, of a masking tape, like, like uh, scotch tape, tape, that is not strong. Stuff that uh, painters and decorators use for cutting in on windows and that sort of thing. Right, okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.